over there, blast him. Hey guys, we're gonna quickly talk about the deleted Endor bunker scene from Return of the Jedi. Now, interestingly, in this deleted scene, we see Han going deeper into the bunker. Obviously in the original, it's like a sort of quick overlay into the main force, destroy the bunker and away you go. But as they work through the bunker on the deleted scene, we see the layers of security within the bunker. Now, I really like this scene. Now, obviously it was probably a little bit too long for the, the main cut and I can understand that, but I think it shows the sort of rebels really working through the movements, almost a bit of a Rogue One-esque vibe to it where you just see them sort of going into the warren of things. And that's what we want to see. There's sort of more es espionage, more sort of, you know, down and dirty fighting. And obviously when they come to the main control panel, there's just a little bit more of depth about, okay, we're going to take this system down and you're going to tell us more about it. And I think, you know, for me, that is what the rebels are. It's all about find, deliver and destroy, you know, and I think where the troopers come in towards the end and it's over, that was the original cut from the original. Maybe this scene would have been better with some sort of like, outside shots thrown in as well you know what's the context of the support the rebels have on the outside of the bunker you know like rogue one where there's sort of those ground troops on top protecting it could have been really nice to have that sort of to in and throwing of internal and external and i think that would have brought a nice conclusion to the scene you could have cut it a little bit tighter as well but all in all it's a great deleted scene and it would be nice to see it sort of remastered in somehow but yeah lovely to see it